Hi, my name is Jody. I'm the Director of Nursing at GTG PPEC. This is Leda, one of our nurses. We're going to be demonstrating trach care. This is Jalen, a two-year-old with diagnosis of cerebral palsy and respiratory insufficiency. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to have all your supplies ready at the bedside. You'll have a trach care kit, sterile gloves, a trach collar, some saline, some 2 by 2 gauze. Okay, so first, the, what you can do is roll a, a towel or a blanket and place it underneath their neck to hyperextend their neck so you have access to the trach. Need to re roll it, right? So you want to release the, the nebulizer mask that she has. Okay. Okay. At first you want to assess the site if there's any um, drainage or any redness so you can clean it. Yeah. So the nurse is going to don sterile gloves now. So next, you're going to wet the gauze so that you can clean around the area with the sterile saline. And gently clean around the stoma. Yeah. If you notice any redness or crusting, you can use um, some s triple antibiotic ointment. Then you want to pat dry the area as much as possible. Now we're going to change the trach collar. Now you always want to release one side first, attach the new one on that side before removing the entire trach collar. This way you don't risk the trach coming out. And you want to be sure not to put the trach collar too tight. You should be able to fit two fingers underneath it. In this case, we're going to apply some triple antibiotic. And then afterwards, you'll apply a two by tube to absorb any secretions Wait, that may come around the stoma. <laughs> Always. If you can change a trach on her, you can change a trach on anybody. She moves a lot. <laughs> 